friends, this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And if you have not checked the forums today, then you are in for a huge surprise. Like an amazingly huge surprise. Admiral Piet is coming to the game. Now I am... What? No. No, it's... Sith zombie is not a thing. No, it's not a thing. What do you mean Force Ghost Luke? No, I'm not... What? Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me check this out. So yeah, Admiral Piet. Oh, Galact. Holy crap. Okay, so so yes, we are getting Jedi Master Luke Skywalker and Sith Zombie. So Force Ghost Luke and an old man in a velvet robe. I am very excited. Don't even try to argue me with me that that's not velvet inside that robe because that is clearly velvet. This is huge news my friends i'm very excited about this and only slightly perturbed that i'm uh so close so close to getting supreme leader kylo ren which gotta say curious about the combination here but let's go ahead and dive into piet real quick first off piet looks awesome i don't have what people call a good imperial team i'm rebel yeah, yeah. Rebel to the bones, baby. Rebel to the core. I freaking love the rebellion. And and I mean, look, look at this. I'm not I'm not a fan, right? I've got Relic Seven Emperor, Relic Three Darth Vader, and then like my only G12 Imperial team is Grand Admiral Thawne and Death Trooper. Now I'm excited about this. And, and I'll talk about that here in a moment. But but look at this. Like, Admiral Firmus Titus Andronicus Piet, right? A, a great character who really just tells you that being in the right place at the right time, especially in the Emperor, Empire, is kind of the most important aspect. It's not who you know. It's who dies next to you, you know, that matters. That's that's the important thing when it comes to the Empire. But what's cool about this, what's cool about Piet here, is he is crazy anti-light. And, and he's got some really cool abilities. He's got a new ability called uh, Inevitable Failure, which I don't necessarily know how to take because you're giving characters Inevitable Failure, which means they're inevitably going to die, which then makes... Piet, I think, invincible. Now, his kit is interesting. Let's jump over real quick. Uh, intensified firepower. Like, look at this. Like, watch watch as he just takes out, I believe that's Wedge. It could be Biggs. I don't, no, it's Biggs because he's got the mustache. Watch as he, ta like, just bashes Biggs. The cool thing about this is anyone who has an ine inevitable failure is called to assist. So you've got a mass attack on his basic that's pretty awesome especially considering the empire is pretty freaking good right and there's a lot of really cool cool abilities within the imperial squad that i think allow that to be pretty boss like like pretty freaking boss like then you jump down imperial ambition uh all of that's you know you got all this stuff but the inevitable failure right uh, this is where I get a little confused. The more stacks you get when that character is defeated, you get 100% of their max health, 100% of their max protection, 300% of their offense, and 25% speed stacking. So I guess you can get up to four of these, right? Or or depending on each character. It's, I don't know. It's it, I'm curious to see this in action because it sounds like Piet becomes an imperial god i'm i'm not entirely sure and i'm i'm very curious to see this in action it looks fun now zeta suborbital strike really cool leadership ability imperialized 30 percent offense plus potency light side enemies minus 30 tenacity and 15 percent. so really you get like a 60 percent potency bonus there right because you get the the 30 percent potency and they get a minus 30 percent tenacity so that's pretty sweet um but 
Whenever an inevitable, whenever an ally with an ed- a fa- oh my gosh, I can't even say it. Whenever an ally with inevitable failure critically hits an enemy, they gain one stack of inevitable failure and defense up for two turns. So remember, uh, the chances are pretty good that every time he uses a basic, he's going to call in a buddy to a- attack with him, which means there's a lot of chances for that failure, inevitable failure, to be thrown on him. Now, bust this unique the emperor's trap this is awesome admiral piet has a 60 percent counter chance that's all right cool right piet games five percent turn meter whenever another enemy imperial ah whenever another empire ally takes damage okay that's pretty cool like so every time he gets take damage he goes whenever an empire ally begins a turn or attacks out of turn all empire allies gain a stack of the empire's trap until the start of the next enemy turn non-empire ally turns allies turn or at the end of the battle right so um they gain this ability often right and until these things until the start of the next enemy turn non-empire allies turn or end of the battle so if you have the speed on your character if you can I don't know. This seems pretty tight. The Empire Allies can be trapped. Uh, Empire's trap can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented. All right, that's freaking cool. If Darth Vader is a, is an ally, Darth Vader and Admiral Piet have a plus twenty percent accuracy, potency, and tenacity. Now, the Emperor's trap plus six percent offense and potency per stack. Now, again, like you're not going to be able to stack that much. I don't think. But that with everything is just, it's going to be a pretty boss move. Now, Piet to me is not a character that I think, oh, if I were to cosplay, I'm going to cosplay as Admiral Piet. Now, granted, I am a pasty old white guy, but I just don't, I don't see it, right? I'm excited for this. Again, even though my, my empire sucks, my Imperial team is not good. Now, Let's jump over to this. We have Force Ghost Luke. Now you can't you can tell me that it's, you know, Jedi Master Luke Skywalker. And I'm sure calling him Force Ghost Luke is not going to catch on. But this is a Force Ghost, right? This scene here is clearly Force Ghost Luke. We don't know what his kit looks like just yet. That's fine. He's a Force projection. This is what I wanted. I'm so excited for this because this is what I've asked for for the longest time. Now I am excited that we are finally getting some more characters from the sequel trilogy. I feel like they left a lot hanging and 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 clearly two of the lowest hanging fruit, Luke and the Sith Empire, Imper- Eternal Empire, aka Sith Zombie. That's what he is. He's a freaking zombie. Very excited about this. Now, we know that this is going to uh, happen faster, right, than, than we saw in the past. Now, this has, that's really cool because right now we're going to have four Galactic Legends. I'm, I'm excited about this. Will they be as dominating? Will they be as powerful as Kylo Ren and, and Rey, right? I think that they're going to be as good. I think they're going to be as awesome. Will we have the back and forth mechanic like we saw in the Kylo Ren event? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, but to prepare for it, we have double drop dates on these dates. Now, what's interesting about that is by what I can only imagine is the end of September, the beginning of October, we are going to see these two characters live. We are going to see them in game. Now, two weeks from now, we should get more requirements as to what we're going to need. Already, I'm a little upset that I'm not even anywhere close to uh luke i would love luke but i i'm not i'm not close to him i have relic 5 c3po that's it i have a relic ray but again that's it i'm not i'm not close sith eternal empire i'm actually closer than i thought um clearly i don't have p it yet or royal guard relic 3 but darth vader and and Imp- emperor palpatine that's kind of cool because you need Palps for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. So if you have Palpatine for Kylo Ren, 
this is going to be a given, right? Darth Vader, most people who, who've invested in Darth Vader probably have him close to or a Relic 7 already. Royal Guard and Director Krennic, maybe not, right? Already it kind of bothers me with Krennic. But Death Trooper, if I'm going to be using a, a Relic 4, if I'm going to have a Relic 4 Krennic, having a solid Death Trooper in that Death Trooper combo, I'm excited to see that in action. Now, again, we'll see how that works out. But with Admiral Piet, it sounds like it sounds like they're they're updating him very quickly. It says that Piet will be released on an abbreviated schedule in order to be farmable for the release of the Galactic Legends. So he needs to be farmable by then. What that means is Sith Empire uh, Admiral Piet will be moved to shipments three weeks after release, and then moved to farmable nodes three weeks after appearing in shipments. So mid October. Right, depending on when this is when this is launched, I am definitely seeing a mid-October style uh, new Galactic Legends. So uh, this is exciting, guys. I, I'm stoked. We're not going to see the kits probably for maybe a week, week and a half. They're going to kind of keep us on the the hook, keep us on the line, make us speculate, make us guess. But I got to say, I'm I'm stoked. This is tight. This is really cool. Now. Is it the flood of content that we expected? Not necessarily, but it's still a lot at once. It's been a couple of weeks since we've had anything, and, and this is cool. I'm excited for this. I am, I am, I'm, I'm very stoked. I gotta say that when it comes to Jedi Master Luke, I'm quite sure that you're going to need a relic Jedi Luke Skywalker, right? I think we're gonna need... Uh, Return of the Jedi Luke as part of that. Now, with everything coming up, I think they're going to be announcing probably pretty soon the return of that event since it is likely to return here shortly. So keep that in mind. Are you guys excited? Because I am stoked for this. I am very excited to see this, this coming. And I look forward to seeing these characters. Now, unfortunately, unless, you know, something happens, there's not a chance in the suite heavenly hades that i will get a just to be able to play with these but it'll be neat to see them in action guys what do you think leave a comment in the section below in the section below you will be able to find two awesome links the first one is to find a free trial for audible you get two free books sign up quit within a month you don't pay a dime but you keep the books admiral thrawn's newest book is coming out September 1st, and I couldn't be more excited for that to show up. Thrawn Ascendancy Chaos Rising is on its way, so pre-order today. It's going to be psyched. I'm, I'm so excited for this. Additionally, guys, in the section below, you can check out the Going Ready Swag Store where I have all of my swags. You can get masks, t-shirts, whatever. If you have an idea, please leave a comment in the section below and contact me. We can put something up. This has been Thaddeus. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, my friends, smile and stay nerdy.